I have some new wheels. Nope, it's not a new RV. <laughs> I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish it was a new RV, but it's not. Let's head outside and I will show you what my new wheels are. Before we go outside, I wanted to mention the campground that I'm staying at. They're under construction, so you're going to hear quite a bit of noise in the background. So I just wanted to mention it. All right, let's go outside and see what my new wheels are. I got a bicycle, not just any bike. I got an e-bike. I have to assemble it, but I got some wheels. When Ad Motor reached out to me, before I even responded to their message, I hopped on their website to check the weight capacity. As a plus size person, that's something that I do have to think about. I looked at other e-bikes in the past, but I didn't meet the weight capacity. This one here is 350 pounds, which is really great. I'm not that heavy. I'm under 300 pounds, but like I said, as a plus size person, that is something that I have to consider when I'm looking at a bike. So I'm going to assemble it and then um, test it out. Before I assemble the bicycle, I wanted to show you what comes in the box and talk about it for just a second. This here is the battery. So this is going to go on the bike itself whenever you want to use the electric mode. And it comes with two sets of keys. When the battery arrives, it's about 50% charged, so you will need to charge that once you receive it. So I'm going to plug it up in a second and charge it, but I want you guys to take a look at it. But this is the battery here on the side, on the right side of it. You have the little port here where you charge it up. And then on this side here is the keyhole where you lock it in place. And then on the front of it is your power settings. already losing the keys. <laughs> okay. Let me just sit that in. Yeah. Ad Motor sends you everything that you need to assemble this bicycle. So you get this box here, this toolbox. And on the inside of it is your pedals. Look like this is a headlight or maybe a tail light. I'm not sure what this is, so I have to read the manual to see what this part is. I'm not sure. Then you have your toolkit. And inside, <laughs> you have a lot of different tools. I am not a um, mechanical person, but from what I read, it's really easy to assemble this bike. Oh, this is a two-way screwdriver. I'm losing tools. So I'm going to put this back in the tool bag so I don't lose any. So that's the tool kit. And I believe this is the charger. Yeah, so this is the charger for the battery. And you also have the manual to help you assemble the bicycle. So when I read through it, it said that the bicycle is 85% assembled. So the only thing that you need to assemble is the front wheel, handlebars, pedals, front fender, and tail light. Sounds easy, right? <laughs> All right, so I'm going to plug this up and get this charged, and then I'm going to start assembling the bike. Before I get started, I wanted to mention, this is how the bike came in the box. So I would insert a picture so you guys can see that, but this is exactly how it came in the box. So I'm gonna start taking all this off and assemble the bike.
day because <laughs> the first thing I'm supposed to do is the front wheel installation. Remove the protective axle by loosening the nuts. That's the first step. Step two, loosen the front axle. And then step three, install the wheel. What is the front axle? <laughs> so I'm going to stop the camera because I don't know what I'm doing. And I don't want a lot of footage that I have to go back and edit out. So I'm going to stop the camera and then I'll come back once I figure out this front axle. I was able to find a video on at Motors YouTube channel. I will link it in the description box below. So if you guys are purchasing this bike, you have a hands-on tutorial along with the manual to show you how to assemble this bike. So let's get back into it. <laughs> my what is this thing called it's not a screwdriver whatever this is called <laughs> because I could not get these bolts off of here with the tools that they sent uh, and you have to take off this protective plate in order to get the bicycle wheel on so I've been wrestling with this for about 30 minutes <laughs> I got it done and it's about to rain too I'm trying to hurry up so I flipped the bike over so I didn't have to sit on the ground and do this. Did I tell you that the diva side of Tiffany hates me in labor? <laughs> Out of all days, not one neighbor came over to speak to me. I was hoping someone would come. I could ask for some help. Oh my God. I hate manual labor. I hate it. So this is the front axle, so I need to put this on. If you hear about a lady laying over in the ditch with a yellow bicycle on top of her, it was me. <laughs>
frustrated. <laughs> I want to give up. I want to give up. It took me two hours to install this front wheel. I am not a mechanical person at all. It frustrated me so much so that I've lost my excitement about this bike. <laughs> oh, God. Man. The instructions was there. But I am not a techie person. So after you get the wheel on, you're supposed to tighten it up. My finger sprung. So I'm trying to tighten it up the best way that I can. I'm hoping the rest of the bike is easier to assemble. Two hours. Clean the seat when I get done. not moving so I think it's locked in place so the power button the power button is down here and I don't know if it makes a sound when it comes on or not I saw some blue lights when I hit the power button I don't know if I turned it back off The bike is a simple. It took me about three hours from start to finish. The first two hours was the tire along, and I'll talk about that in another video. I did get frustrated, and I don't want my frustration coming out in this video because that's not the purpose of this video. So I'm going to take it for a ride. Hopefully, I got everything tightened up, but I will come back when I'm not frustrated and talk to you guys about this bicycle. I haven't been on a bike since I was 10 years old.
hardest part for me is starting and turning. Something I need to work on. Having fun. This bike go fast. I got up to 12.2 miles per hour. And I'm at six miles. I wanted to give you guys a 360 view of this bike. I was intending to do that earlier. And like I said, I was frustrated because I was having a hard time with that front wheel. So I'm gonna give you a 360 view of this bike. Are you looking for an alternative way to save gas commuting to work or school? Or looking for ways to shed a few pounds without going to a sweaty gym? The Sultan M66X full suspension electric mope bike might be an option for you. The Sultan M66X e-bike provides comfort, functionality, and versatility during off-road and city street adventures. The ride is fun and smooth. This bike is powerful and fast, reaching speeds of 23 miles per hour with minimal pedaling and maximum throttle. On a full charge, it can travel up to 105 miles. The pedal assist feature is a lifesaver when you need a little help up the hills or on extended rides. The long banana boat seat accommodates two people, not exceeding 300 pounds. It comes standard with foot pegs so your passenger can ride in comfort. It has seven different riding speeds that are easily adjusted for your riding needs. On the multifunction LCD screen, you can keep track of the battery level, how many wattages you're using, miles driven, and so much more. I only wish it had a calorie counter for those riding to shed a few pounds. This bike is perfect for maintaining or losing weight. I love the massive wide tires. It made the ride easy traveling across dirt roads, gravel, and grass. I wanted to mention that this bike does come with a one year warranty. I also wanted to say it weighs over 80 pounds, so it's a bit challenging to maneuver it. I have to say it's one of the most impressive bikes on the market. It's retro look, sleek design, and vintage charm would turn heads everywhere you go. Whether you ride it to work or across your college campus or cruise around town with friends on the weekend, the Sultan M66X will get you there in comfort and style. For more information on this retro style bike, click the link in the description box below. At checkout, use my discount code Tiffany to save $80 off your purchase. If you have any questions that I didn't answer in this video, please comment below and I will cover them in a follow-up video. This bike has a footrest. I haven't used it because I don't feel comfortable taking my feet off the pedals. Still a bit of a nervous rider. At some point, I would like to ride and test out the footrest. I keep hearing some noise behind me, so that means I need to get out this area. I'm done. I came over here because it's quiet. I don't know if it's a bear, mountain lion. <laughs> I don't know. It's time to go. I am loving this bike. Loving it, so I got six miles in. My goal is 10. Um, a couple of things that I need to work on is my turn, stopping, and starting. Yeah, it's a rough start, so I got to work on that. Yeah, but I'm having fun. Loving it. I gotta figure out how to stop this bike. <laughs> okay. I pedaled the whole time because I don't know how to use the electric mode. I gotta figure that out. <laughs> My heart was beating so fast. My ride was a little wobbly, and I think that's because I haven't been on a bike, like I said. And um, I was nervous, <laughs> but I did it. This seat is really comfortable, very comfortable. All right, I'm going to figure out how to um, ride the bike, <laughs> and then I'm going to take it for a ride, a serious ride. But I want to do it on electric because I haven't pedaled in so many years. I feel it all in my legs. And on the display, it tells you how many miles per hour you're going. I did nine, nine miles per hour. I was getting it, I was booking it. All right, so I come back, I'm gonna go for a ride. Um, calm my nerves, like I said, I got frustrated. 
and I'll be back. So I ended up doing 11 miles and the battery is still on full charge.